Yeah, thanks so for answering it. On top of zones, uh, I think a lot of the things that people also are excited about were the artifacts that come with this expansion. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of questions too. So let's go ahead and start and rewind from the beginning here. Uh, so this artifacts, you know, how will they play a big role here in the expansion, Ian? And you know, moving forward, what, what's the progression through as we go through the content? Well, so I mean, artifacts. They're, I mean, as as was said in the presentation, they're kind of your companion, your tr most trusted ally as you work your way through Legion and fight the Burning Legion themselves. Um, it's going to be one of the first things that you do when you start out the expansion. You will claim your artifact and build it up from there. I think there's two separate progression paths. Um, so there's the artifact power that you earn and spend on traits that we mentioned in the presentation. A part that didn't get mentioned is sort of the DPS throughput item level of your weapon itself. And that's going to be derived from powerful relics that you will obtain through pretty traditional sources. And you can socket those into your weapon. And those will increase its damage, its spell power. Cool. And they also cool. interplay and modify some of the traits that you have socketed as well. And so that really is going to take the place of traditional weapon drops that you would normally get yeah, from quest rewards, are they, dungeons. Are there still any of those? Or is that just kind of irrelevant by that? There, there are probably some early on for catch-up purposes. Okay. But beyond you know, the very early level up zones, it's not something that we expect to see. Because you should have your artifact, and that is going to be the thing that you progress. But through you know, these relics that you get, you're still going to have the core experience of leveling up and getting a stronger weapon that just hits harder. And that way, you know, when you kill a mythic raid boss, it's going to drop a way more powerful relic than what you'd get from a raid finder boss or a quest in the outdoor world. OK, and um, what about dual specs here? Like, how are the artifacts working with that? Yes, yeah, so that's definitely something we've heard a lot. Um, we know there are many players who maybe might level as Retribution and get their Ashbringer right away, but they're also going to spec holy and heal dungeons for a friend on the way up, or maybe spec holy at max level to raid. And we want to make sure that you know it's not a multiplicative additional amount of effort to maintain multiple artifacts. Um, you'll start out with one single artifact, but pretty shortly after that, you'll have the opportunity to go out and earn the others if that's something that you care about and that you want to do for your character. And then from there, we have some catch-up mechanisms in mind that, in general, make it much easier and faster to get your second or third artifact up to speed and to the same power level as your main one. Now, the one part that won't directly carry over are the relics I was just talking about. Okay. There, you would need okay. to earn separate relics for the additional weapon, but that's not really very different from the arms warrior today who needs to go out and get a sword and shield from a boss or from yeah, a quest line enough. or from crafting if they want to tank. And of course, we have that little loot spec drop down now for people that are doing content, so you could always kind of set your loot spec to holy if you were doing ret and you'd be able to get relics that were for your holy artifacts. Exactly. All right, neat.